The release of the kidnapped footballers, uh, Enyimba midfielder Dayo Ojo and uh, Abia Comets uh, Benjamin Iluyomade have both been released three days after they were abducted while returning home following the suspension of the Nigeria Professional Football League due to the outbreak of the coronavirus. I we spoke with Enyimba's media officer and also the public, uh, the police public relations officer, ASP T. Leo Ikoro. And uh, of course, I will talk to them and they gave us an update on what's going on with the players and how they've actually returned to their families. Let's listen to them and I will be right back. Kidnapping is a global problem that affects countries all over the world and the governments are working hard to address this problem and ensure that the perpetrators are captured and brought to justice. In Nigeria, kidnappers have become more daring as they now focus on very important persons, their children and relatives. On Sunday, the 22nd of March, 2020, two Nigerian footballers were abducted when a vehicle they were traveling in was attacked. The players, Enyimba's midfielder Ekundaya Ojo, and Abia Comets Benjamin Iluyomade journeyed to Akure following the suspension of the Nigeria Professional Football League to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Three days later, Wednesday night to be precise, the footballers were released following the combined efforts of Enyimba Football Club and the families of the players. Speaking with Zazi Bariza, Enyimba's spokesman, he confirmed the release of the players and a reunion with their families. Yes, I can confirm to you that um, the clients who were kidnapped on Sunday on their way to Akure um, have been released. The players are Dayo Ojo, Aimba's midfielder, and um, Abia Komet's um, player, uh, Benjamin Oluyomade. They were released on Wednesday night, that, um, about, about four days spent in captivity and uh, they have since reunited with their families. There is a general feeling of um, excitement because, of course, um, they've been in um, captivity, if I should use that word, and uh, regaining freedom is one of the uh, biggest things you would want as an individual. So um, there is that feeling. And within the club also, it's um, a great feeling to know that your player, your colleague, and um, your employee who was um, abducted has been, um, you know, has regained his freedom. There's always this tension and apprehension when you don't know where your loved one or your friend is. And uh, that's why we were ready to work around the clock to ensure his release. The state's police public relations officer, assistant superintendent of police, Tilio Ikuru, also spoke about the incident and how the players were rescued. Yes, it actually happened in uh, on the state, a place called uh, Ispe, Ispe Road. And I think they were traveling from the southeastern part of the country um, to Lagos, and they had to pass through that way. But what is important to us now is that they've been rescued. Because when we heard that story of the kidnap, the commissioner police sent out a signal to every police officer, especially those within the next day, that they should not go home sleeping until these footballers are rescued. And instead of, because all the policemen within the next day went to right into the bush in search of them, at first one of their friends was rescued. But that was not enough for us. We needed to rescue all of them. And then last night, they, they said state of they were rescued and now they're reuniting with their parents, with their families. Enyimba Football Club also thanked the police for swinging into response and saving the players. For Plus TV Africa, Udoka Njoko.